Have you ever wanted to build a statue of yourself in your Roblox game? Make NPCs famous Roblox YouTubers. Add your friends' as characters to your Roblox game. Play as Roblox itself. Then let me show you how to add and play as any character in Roblox Studio without any extra plugins. After you subscribe with the intro plays. Hey, what's up Macaroni Club? Today, I'm gonna show you a very simple way to basically steal whatever Roblox player's character you want. I was able to make this stand of famous Roblox YouTubers using this trick. Free model link in the description, by the way. And you'll be able to as well by the end of this video. All you'll need is Roblox Studio and the Roblox profile of who you want to use. Oh, and really quick, if you just want a character model of yourself, just press play, copy your character when they load in, press stop, then paste the character. Boom, quick and easy. Now for the rest of the video if you wanted someone else's character. First, have a place open in Roblox Studio. I just created a new empty base plate. Next, I'm going to create a dummy character model. At the top menu bar, go to plugins. Click on build rig. Select any model. I chose block rig and watch spawn in. For some reason, the build rig models have two faces when you spawn them in. Normally this isn't a problem, but we only need one this time. In your game explorer, delete one of them by selecting and pressing delete on your keyboard or right clicking then selecting delete there. Now this is where the magic happens. At the bottom, you should have a command bar. If not, under the menu bar, go to view, then click on command bar under show. I'll leave the code in the description so you can copy it, but here's what you'll type into the command bar. workspace.dummy.humanoid colon apply description open parentheses game colon get service open parentheses, quote, players, quote, close parentheses, colon, get humanoid description from user ID, open parentheses, user ID, close parentheses, close parentheses, where user ID is the user ID of the Roblox player you want to use. Whew, that was a lot of words. That was a lot of words, periods, and parentheses, so let's break it down a little bit. And a heads up, anytime you type code in Lua, nearly all of it has to have the first letter of the word capitalized. So make sure you pay attention to spelling and capitalization. This is the kind of code you start with in two places. You'll need your desired Roblox character's humanoid description and a character humanoid that you're going to apply it to. A humanoid description is a newer API that allows developers to work with moving, storing, and replacing whole or parts of characters and their items. This can do things like changing your character's hair, body, accessories, and so on. First we start with the character humanoid. If a character model is the flesh and blood, then the humanoid is the heart, brain, and soul. We'll reference it by typing out its location, in this case it's under workspace, so workspace.dummy.humanoid. For now, we're going to use it and tell it to apply a humanoid description using colon apply description parentheses. Now that we have the humanoid ready to apply a humanoid description, we need Roblox to give us a humanoid description to use. We can do this by using the player game service. We're going to ask the player game service to tell us the humanoid description of who we want. To reference it, we type out game colon get service open parentheses quote players quote close parentheses inside the parentheses at the end of apply description. You can also use game.players as long as you don't change the name of the service. Now we can use it and tell it to get the humanoid description from a player's user ID using colon get humanoid description from user ID parentheses. The last thing you'll need is the user ID. It's very simple to find this. Just go to the Roblox profile page of who you want to use and look at the URL. After slash user slash, you'll see a bunch of numbers. This is the player's user ID. Select and copy these numbers. To finish the code, you'll paste the user ID inside the parentheses at the end of get humanoid description from user ID. Now, if everything is set up right, and you're still typing the command bar, when you press the enter key, the dummy will magically transform into the character of your choosing. If you want to change the text over the character's head, just change the name of the model. If you want to hide the text over the character's head, select the model's humanoid, and inside the properties window, under data, change display distance type to none. If you want to play as the character when you start the game, put the model inside starter player and rename the model to starter character. This will only work if you type it correctly with a capital S, no space, and a capital C. If you hit play now, you'll notice your character is stuck in the air and you can't move. 
This is because by default, the rig builder anchors the humanoid root part of models it creates. So go back into the starter character model, select humanoid root part, and under behavior, untick the anchored property box to set anchored to false. Now when you hit play, you can freely move around and do as you will. That's it for this one. Rate the video. Tell me how you felt. Leave a comment if you want to say or ask something. And please, if you see the same question you're about to ask, give it a thumbs up instead. If you know it, answer it. Let's build an awesome community. And please, share this video. You got it for free and you should pass it along too. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, thanks fam. See you later.